In a previous video I reviewed the Unity UT8805E, great value for money, great construction quality, but this specific unit that I received had a problem with the buzzer, so I wasn't getting any beeping sounds for the continuity tester, and also there were a few quirks uh, in the firmware, uh, which I discovered in the review video. Now Unity responded very nicely, they appreciated the feedback and said, that I was running an older hardware revision and that they'll send a newer one which addresses some of the issues I discovered. So here it is, they sent the newer revision. Uh, this one has a date code of 2024, so it's a very recent uh, manufacturing date. And for those that want to compare, here is the firmer version that uh, this newer 2024 unit is running. It's 1.87.005 which is actually newer than what they're currently sharing on their website, uh, 1.87.001. I'll kindly ask them to publicly release this newer revision as well. And another thing I spot is that they released a newer revision for their Windows PC app, which I installed and we'll take a closer look at that in a second. So let's go over some of the things I was complaining about in the review video and see how they address them in this newer uh, firmware and hardware revision. Number one on my list was the buzzer not working. Well, that was likely just a problem with the particular unit I received. It had a defect, uh, so that's, that's not solved due to the firmware or hardware upgrades. Uh, it is working just fine on this uh, newer version they sent. Number two, I complained that the cooling fan noise is too high and they responded that this has been addressed by using a different cooling fan in this newer revision. Here is a sample with the fan noise in the old unit. We get about 58 decibels. And here is a sample with the new fan. The newer one puts out about 52, 53 decibels. So there's clearly a noticeable, measurable change, but it's not as good as I would like it to be. Hence why I purchased this Noctua fan, which I plan to install soon, and I'll share the results in a separate video. Number three, I complained that there is no web view or web control interface and Unity responded that they cannot technically implement a web view or control interface over web due to limited available memory for their processor. So there won't be any web view or control interface coming to this meter in uh, the future. Uh, but they said they are considering this function in other benchtop multimeters that they will be releasing in the future and I'm guessing they're planning that for some higher-end uh, multimeter uh, because I noticed that on their website they already announced an, a six and a half digit uh, version, uh, the UT8806. Number four, I complained that the PC app would not connect over IP and it seems that this was fixed uh, because by using the latest version of their app, version 1.09, I can connect to both the old and the new meter over the local network. Uh, the newer version of the app on a first glance doesn't appear to come with uh, new functionality but it is more responsive and doesn't crash anymore. Number five, I complained that there were issues with the uh, firmware update procedure which made the whole process not as smooth as I would like to see and they responded that this problem can only be fixed on the older units by uh, flashing updated firmware at the factory and I'm gonna guess they're referring to the bootloader and uh, Again, I'm gonna guess it's not something they're willing to do outside the factory. So uh, while the dark, there doesn't appear to be a fix for the older uh, meters, it's not a showstopper because it doesn't break your multimeter or anything like that. You just have to unplug and plug, plug the USB flash drive again for the update procedure to resume, which is what I had to do in my review video. I can't test uh, how that works on the newer revision because I'm already to the latest uh, so there's mm, there isn't any firmware image that I can try this with. So personally I'm very much appreciating how Unity is uh, handling the feedback I sent them. I think this is going to lead them to release better and better products with improved firmware. And if you're wondering if there are any hardware differences in this newer revision 
I've taken the unit apart so we can take a better look at that and just by looking at an overview of this new main board I can't spot any significant changes in here it is still the same version 1.4 uh, just a different date code here, a later week of the same 2023 manufacturing year. But other than that, I really can't spot any differences between the two. And yes, they have upgraded the uh, cooling fan to a different unit, which is more silent. Here is the part number of this new cooling fan. You should expect to see another short video from me with installing that Noctua fan once I receive it with possibly some thermal measure measurements of these uh, LDOs uh, on uh, before and after the mod. And if there's anything else you'd like to see me try with these meters, let me know in the comments. That was all for today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content ahead. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you in the next video.